let's not forget that. Should I push everything inside or not? Maybe. align it i don't like that hey hey what's up late today yeah i know i was doing some cleaning and <laughs> some sport so yeah i'm a bit late uh, i can't do that so let's just move it as close as possible thanks for the follow by the way this should be fine. I think it's going inside, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I did those a bit too fast. Yeah, let's have clean walls. Oh, yeah, check that. Yeesh. No, that's not good. Um, come on. I need this magnet to work. Please work. All right, now it's working. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Oh, maybe we can do something really clean. Like if I remove this one. Okay, this one is there. Stuck. And then this one. Stuck. Yeah, that's clean. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Let's remove those. So what's up? How you guys are doing? Enjoying the last day of the weekend? <laughs> so is it better or not? Yeah, almost it. I just need to make sure that... Actually, I can join them. Yeah, and maybe I will add this, a sim later. Too bad that those walls are white, but actually I have a red wall in the back. Uh, I don't know if it's a good idea to put it red too. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you kind of see it very far in the back. Yeah, the opposite of the apartment, I actually have a kind of blue, duck blue uh, wall. nice we have a cleaner geometry i guess yeah this is a bit weird 
Yeah, check that. Mm, I don't think we can do much about that. I mean, I'm not going to push it inward. Yeah. No, I don't mind. Those are details we can't see. Uh, so it's fine. Okay. So now we can handle the window. I don't know exactly. I don't want it to be open because uh, it's kind of pushing everything if we open it. So, I mean, it's going to hide stuff if we open it. Still, it's like a long window, high window. Italy, nice. What else do we have? Where are you guys from? How many Frenchies do we have? No weekend as Francois. Yeah, that's true. That's not an issue as long as you like what you do. Toujours un plaisir de te suivre, Bruno, en bossant sur mes projets. Ah, so you can follow a stream and work at the same time? I can't do that. Like, even if it's simple integration, CSS, I tried. Ah, it's so hard. I can't focus. I have to listen to what's happening, to what people are saying. Hey, Bobo Astico. What a name. Hey Guna. Hey, my name is Wafi. I'll call you Wafi now. Happy Sunday to you. Hey Jean Colback. Jean Colback. Alright, so uh, let's move on. Yeah, let's do the window. So the window is. Yeah, we have this kind of uh, chanfrein, so some kind of beaver. There is also the store thing on the top. Though it's not very interesting in terms of details, at least it will add some stuff to the to the walls. I don't have a lot of things on the walls. I like them clean. Okay, let's go. I don't know exactly how, but let's go. Maybe I should start from face. Yeah. So. Just doing something like that. Like this. Oh, Germany, nice. I think we have quite a lot of uh, Germans following me. And you speak French. to do the exact same thing but still I want to be quite accurate uh, I'm not I'm no uh, window expert no joke about the OS oh actually there is one more chanfrein on the outside so one more beaver ah shoof I should have done that before can we do like um, an opposite uh, inset would it be like a uh, outset let's see if I do Control Y, so this is, oh, no, that was probably a bad idea. Let's see. So if we have this inset, we'll do that. And if we push it back, boundaries. Ah, it's not working. Oh, outset. Missing something there. The name is outset. Should we do? That's weird. Oh, my inset doesn't work anymore. What the? Right, the inset is working. When I check outset, it's not working anymore. Come 
That's so weird. We have an outset option, but it's not working. I don't get it. Probably made for something else, but... Uh... Oops. I didn't miss it. Okay, that's what I thought. Eh. Okay, it's not going, like, away from it. Yeah, I get it. That's cool, actually. I don't know when and how to use it exactly, but uh, I'm sure I can uh, we can use that sometimes. All right, so that's not what I wanted. Or we can just expand it, but uh, it's hard to keep the proportions right. Okay. Go back to that. All right. That's what I was trying to avoid, but let's do it. try to finish the modeling part today all right the only fact that i say try probably means that i'm going to fail but <laughs> we try it all right uh so yeah i really like this one i should have used it for from a long time ago starting to get used to it. There are some hiccups, but uh, still, uh, I think it's okay. As a 3GS developer, how much time do you spend in 3D? By the way, guys, if you want to uh, make sure that I see the messages, you can use highlighted messages and uh, everybody can hear them and I, I will obviously hear them. I'm trying to follow the chat. You're on not that many people, so it's okay, but uh, if you want to, to make sure that uh, I can see your message, use highlighted. Oh, and if you are a sub, uh, you can just post um, exclamation mark say and then the message. How much time do you spend in free software versus actually programming? Oh, that's a good question. It actually depends on the project a lot. Like for this project, um, obviously we are doing a lot of modeling. I don't know if we do a lot of, uh, a lot of, let me just lower the music a bit. Uh, there will be a lot of programming too, but I think it will be mostly, uh, mm, yeah, 3D on this one. Uh, it really uh, it depends on the project. Let's see the, the latest project I did. Yeah, actually the latest project I did was a uh, Tiger Year, you know, with the watch. And I think it was, yeah, actually I did not uh, do the model. I did spend some time on, uh, on the 3D, but not that much. So yeah, usually professional projects, it's mostly code clearly uh, but for personal projects because I uh, enjoy doing a lot of 3d uh, I think it's a bit more 3d but yet again depends on the project actually that's a cool thing you can just adapt do a project uh, with more 3d if you want to do, do uh, 3d yeah I got the bottle today it's so hot I think you can see oh yeah 30 degrees no I don't know in Fahrenheit uh, what it is Hey, uh, R. Shaya, what's up? People speak French better than me. People speak French better than me? I don't get it. Ah, yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> Deeple, all right. Good design, nice. Hey, what's up? All right, let's continue. Um, oh, by the way, I will create a um, uh, Discord. It will be on the 3GS uh, journey. Uh, how was that? Oh, okay. It's okay. Um, what was I seeing? Oh, yeah, I, uh, I would create a Discord um, channel on the 3GS journey, a public Discord server. It seems like some of you want to have a Discord, so why not? Why not? All right, so uh, let's continue. It's looking kind of like that. That's cool. Uh, we have this blocky thing on the top. Yeah, let's do this window quite fast. It's not that interesting, so. Yeah. 
And actually, that's all there is. <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly that. Let's see. Uh, it's kind of like this. Uh, and this. How can I do that without breaking everything? Yeah, can I do that? Is it exactly on it or not? Yeah, I assume so. And we take those. Oops. Those. Oh no, we need to push it. Let's see. No, we can do that after. It's overcomplicated right now. Why am I doing that much? Yeah, why not? Okay, uh, let's remove this part because we don't need it. Good for performances, good for UV and wrap. And let's make sure this is flat against uh, this. Oh, we can use the this thing. Yeah, nice. All right, by the way, we can do the same on the window. We have a lot, oh no, we have nothing in the back, interesting. Okay, why not? For now, I will remove the inside. Yeah, I don't know what we will do exactly uh, there. Should we create some kind of um, class? I don't know. There is nothing on the other side, just like uh, bars. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I would just create the bars so that at least we have something to watch. I understand it's the outside. Hey, Mayode, what's up? Nice to see you again. Are we going to bake today? No, no, no. No baking today, that's for sure. We need to finish the modeling and check that. We have quite a lot to do. See? <laughs> so we have all of this to do and then we need to uh, create the, the materials. Uh, so yeah, no baking today. Actually, we're on Sunday. I I have two more sessions because uh, before taking my holidays. Yeah, I don't think uh, I will have uh, enough time to do the baking uh, before leaving. But I will be back uh, shortly. It's just one week. What the? Ah, okay. Mm. Which one is it? I always get it wrong. It's Beaver. Yay! Finally! <laughs> what, hap what the hell is that? Or maybe I need to apply. Okay, that's it. Well, that's a bit weird, no? Oh yeah, see? What the hell is that? Meh.
That's so weird. How do we get this ugly shape? I, mean, I can fix that quite easily, but uh, I'm not sure that uh, we have a, a parameter to handle that. Ah, so weird. Actually, no, I don't know exactly how to fix that. Oh, that's so sad. Yerk. Hey, Jukar Vidal. What's up? What is the destination for the holiday? I actually don't know. We're going like uh, west, uh, like Bretagne. Uh, because I'm going to get my dog there. But first, we are going to do some uh, uh, small trip. So yeah, I don't know exactly. We have to uh, ask my girlfriend. She organized everything. So that's a problem. Uh, how can I? Oh, that's so weird. Maybe I can just do a... Oh, you don't want me to do the... Oh, come on. Do the bivel. I can't. Hmm. Alright, oh, no, 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 forget that. Oh, it's been applying this, what the... Yeah, that's better. Still, that's weird. But who cares? We can't see much of it, so let's finish this. Wait, I'll remove those instead. Yeah, it's a bit like that. You don't need to be too precise. Oops. Yeah, that's cool. Is it close or not? No, it's not close. Perfect. It's not that thick. Even worse. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like it thick, but uh, we have something very precise. The whole scene is quite precise, so... Let's continue on that. Oops. Ah, come on. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, I think we're done with the window. Actually, no, there is this uh, a perch. I don't know the name, like the stick you can use to lower the, the store. Uh, let's do it quick. So it's kind of there. Mm, actually, we can do something quite similar to exactly what we done there. Are we going to add textures today? No! <laughs> How disappointing, right? No, 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 we still have a lot of, a lot to do and I want really it to be uh, perfect because I'm going to use it uh, the different ways I already explained. I mean, I hope to use it uh, those ways. So we need something really perfect. Like I don't want to do the project just to stream the project. All right. So yeah, we, we need to be uh, really precise and add uh, everything I want. So first we finish everything. Then uh, we, we add the textures. I hope to finish the modeling today. I hope. <laughs> All right. Um, let's do the same. Uh, we can start from a plane.
yeah something like that uh we will have the exact same problem actually uh yeah i don't like where this is going i know i'm going to have the the, the same issue let's see let's see again uh, what we can do against that convert to uh no convert convert or oh, i need to leave that convert to curve and when i add this def oh it's not that bad but still yeah see it's doing this kind of a trump thing there is that blender yeah absolutely are you learning uh, blender so yeah, how can we fix that by the way what's that icon glhf pledge what's that i'm a bit new to uh twitch oh maya nice maya is great maya is also cool because uh if i'm right maya is done by the same guys at least initially that uh, are doing unity i think you have like better implementation where you did the model next to the couch which model talking about uh, my uh, oc uh, octopus <laughs> in which part did you do it was uh, if you're talking about this one it was uh, the the previous uh, session so part seven it's uh, already available on twitch and we did a couch too it's quite cool i'm i'm happy with the result we use the new uh, pressure thing in blender you know like you you create a shape and you push air in the shape and uh, you get the physics uh, out of it quite hard to get uh, exactly what you want but uh, still i think those looks uh, like cushion cushion pillows in french we say coussin cushion coussin and pillow is kind of uh, oreiller yeah this one is not easy yeah clothes uh not exactly it's a bit more than clothes uh, let me show you it's not exactly here oh actually you're right it's the clothes but it's the pressure inside the clothes yeah you're right so yeah let's do this maybe if i just add one more nah see it's it keep doing that oh that's so sad and can we add maybe more uh, let's see i really want to, to fix that without uh, using some tricks That's interesting. Tangent. Oh. Okay, no, it's not exactly not exactly what we want. Minimum. This doesn't change a thing when you use minimod. Peel. Nah. Front, back, full, half. Nah, nah, nah. We don't care about the texture. Active spline, shape key, custom properties. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that's so weird. I don't like that. Anyway, let's get rid of it. We knew it was a bad idea. Uh, let's use this one instead. Oopsie. Misclick. Misclick again. How much? 16 should be fine. Yeah. We need to create the handle too. See, I spent already too much time on this one. Every individual model, yeah. If you're talking about the different parts of uh, this, yeah, 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 we created everything. We could have import stuff, but um, this stream is also a good way to improve. I'm not very good at Blender. I need to learn a lot. I need to practice. So yeah, that's the opportunity. Thanks for the follows, everybody. Uh, so yeah, uh, it looks a bit like that. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's do it quick. I'm losing way too much time on this. We just do that. That. 
that. Now it's on the X, say something like that. This one is thicker. No, that's actually not true. My bad. doing something like that by the way I forgot to create the the collection yeah maybe we can just close this part yeah this one is okay we can't see much this one do we have something there yeah let's remove it yeah it's fine actually it's way longer I can't help myself. I have to improve it. Yeah, okay. Okay, nice. Uh, let's put all of those inside the, 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 the. Oh, we need to apply those. Yeah, convert, mesh. Okay, did on every one. I mean, each one of them. Those are absolutely not where they're supposed to be. Window. Okay, nice. Window is done. So yeah, no um, curtains. Okay. I want to do them. It's not that complicated, but it's not accurate. I don't have any curtains. So yeah, let's not do them. Uh, so window. Okay, nice. Bruno, do you have any suggestion for what should I put on the space of the middle shelves? shelf? Of my room you, you have to oh you send me the link oh it's going well nice so the middle shelves uh like uh, on the side of the car the side of the card i mean nice ps4 uh, ps5 by the way yeah, it's super cool guys click on the link i didn't open it on the on the the stream but uh, you can click on the link Ah, oh, what you should put there? I don't know. Books? Yeah, you're missing books. Add books. I mean, I don't know if you have books uh, at your house, but I guess... I'm going to add books, because it's simple to do. Actually, I will hide one of them. I have uh, I have two versions of that. Uh, those shelves, and uh, one part is like completely hidden. So yeah, we would cheat a bit. Um, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can do the guitar. We can do the shelves. Stuff on shelves. Book. Yeah, book will be in, in that. Bone, dog bed, guitar. Okay, that's cool. I think we can finish today. That's great. Um, yeah, let's go. For the dog bed, actually, I think I will create um, a fluffy... Um, not fluffy. Not a fluffy one, but uh, also a rectangular one. So yeah, let's get rid of that for now. Uh, dog bed. Actually, I have so many dog dog bags, beds. Dog bed. I have a three dog bed currently at home. Oh no, wait. No, there is one that is not here. Uh, should we push those inside or what? Yeah, it's a bit weird. Can I? Ah, oh, it's working. Shoo. 
Oh, actually, it will fix uh, the issue we had. Yeah, perfect. Let's do that. Uh, oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, it should be there. Is it? No. Okay, this one is good. Okay, that's clean. That's not clean. Come on. Okay, yeah, I see. That's on me. Oh, then this one should be down too. Oh, yeah, yeah no, I, I'm, I'm doing some mistakes. Um, We need... Oh, no, actually, it's fine. We need to do the same on this one too. That's all. Yeah, okay. G, Y, click. All right, is it good or not? Yeah, that's better. It's logical, actually. The, um, the, the, the floor doesn't go, like the wood floor doesn't go inside the wall. So yeah, that's logical. And this, we can, oh, too bad. Oh, that's sad. Can we, ah, maybe we can do something. Yeah, I'm going to cheat. We're going to push the last one far enough. Yeah. So it's going from there. There, there, and there. All right, cool. Oh no, we need to select those two. Yeah. Yeah, let's not break everything. So it's this one. This one. We have something. Yeah, this one too. And this one too. All right, cool. We can do it. We need those to go there. Yeah, nice. And then we can also get rid of those because we can't see them. I right, cool. that's that's accurate and optimized. This will get handy later. So yeah, those are not supposed to be inside. Yeah, okay, that's nice. We can have a different color from the f for the floor. Why do we have this? Let's get rid of that. All right, cool. How is this one? Yeah, this one is fine. I think we have some uh, some space. Yeah, it's fine. We don't need to push it uh, in the back. Actually, we will probably uh, move it forward so that we can add lights in the back and uh, to have uh, like uh, you know like back lights. I, I have a lot of uh, lights behind. I have. One, two, three, four lights. Ah, we need to create this one too. There is one uh, close to the plants. And then a strip light there. Because I really like to have a backlight. I think it's good for the eye and uh, it looks great. Hey, Katy, what's up? Do dog bed. Okay, I do dog bed. <laughs> You're right, I should focus. <laughs> When did you shift uh, to using Windows? Uh, yesterday. Uh, no, the day before, actually. And it was hard. Like, I had to uh, to uh, format everything to, to start from a clean slate. Uh, I had to put all the software, all the, um, how do you say, like, pilots for camera, um, the sound. Now I, I'm, I have still two screens but the other one is actually the mac so uh it's working i'm get, getting used to it and actually i hope it will be uh, the perfect opportunity to uh 
to totally switch to Windows because I'm getting mad with uh, with Mac. I think it's full trash and expensive trash and uh, I can't wait to get rid of Mac. 3D art, uh, it's hard to say because uh, f the first time I was doing 3D, it wasn't really hard art. It was really for specific projects. I was doing WebGL stuff. Um, my boss needed some models. So I decided to, uh, to, to do it myself. So it wasn't really art, but we can say that I s kind of started a bit before doing my portfolio, which was uh, 19. So it was two years ago. So let's say two to three years ago. Can I? I can't focus on this one. Oh, yeah, obviously, because I merged everything. I want to make sure. Yeah, see? You go now. Bye bye. Uh, actually, can we remove more faces? Mm, no, no, let's keep those in in case someone just watch the room from a, a bit low like that. Yeah, yeah, we will keep those. Okay, nice. Hi, have you ever done generative art, procedural graphics? Oh yeah, a lot. I mean, I, I'm a developer first, so yeah. No, any good resources that teach this with 3GS? <gasps> no. I, I, you might check, um, what's his name? Uh, the Russian guy. Shoo, uh, I forgot. Yuri, is it Yuri? Or words, Yuri. I know that Yuri is uh, experimenting, experimenting a lot of WebGL coding. And uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, he's doing some uh, some uh, like uh, reverse engineering of a cool website. Uh, he's done some uh, some uh, at least one um, course for awards. So check Yuri. The name is Yuri. Uh, I might say it wrong. Artiuk. A R T I U K H. Okay, everybody knows about Yuri. <laughs> What's the idea of this project that you're working on? Yeah, I can explain again. Um, for now, we are just building my um, living desk, kitchen, room, because it's like my apartment is almost only one big fat room, so it's kind of everything. I still have a bedroom, separated bedroom and separated, uh, how do you say, like uh, bath, bathroom? Bathroom, yeah. The idea is that we are just building it so to practice, to have fun, to, uh, to create something cool. But after I want to implement it in 3GS and there is two things I want to do with it. I want to be able to show my setup because I get this question quite a lot. What's your setup? I can share this website and people will just see my, set my setup and maybe we can click on those. I don't know, clicking on object is kind of boring. So maybe we need to find something else, but still, why not? You click on the screen, you get the screen uh, name on the mic, on the Mac, on the keyboard, on the mug, on whatever. You can even do like the plants uh, and everything, and the TV and the, the My Octopus plush. So yeah, that's the first ID. And the second ID is to use it for the, um, how do you say, like uh, the waiting uh, screen uh, when the stream is starting. Usually I just start, like uh, I prepare everything and then I start, but maybe I can do like, a, I don't know, a 10 minutes uh, waiting screen where you guys can see this room and you can interact with this room. That's the idea. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it will be part of this um, kind of uh, first project. So first we are just building it, but maybe I will do another part, another project where we, uh, we uh, add some interaction and then we, I can use it as uh, the, the waiting screen. For the interactions, I don't know, actually, maybe you guys have some ideas. I want to be able to, um, like, if you put uh, exclamation mark room, uh, light on, it turns the light on, TV on, um, light red, uh, light uh, rainbow, um, computer on, I don't know, some things like that. Maybe you guys have some uh, ideas. We are limited by, by what we can do because I'm going to bake everything, but still I'm sure we can figure out some solutions to uh, make some parts uh, dynamic, dynam dynamic, dynamic. So if you guys have ideas on interactions we can do from the chat on the on it, that's, that can be fine. Also, I want uh, maybe like people that join the stream 
have their uh, maybe a ball like a balloon that falls on the uh, there on the on the room and bounce with your name on it with the same color uh, as you have uh, on the stream. That would be fun. Found you great. Yeah, he's great. Uh, check his tutorials. Check his videos. Super cool. Octopus movement, yeah, why not? Uh, can just kind of uh, do that. I don't think I will rig it and uh, create a full movement because it's a lot of uh, work. Still, it's possible. I will have to redo the model a bit, but uh, yeah, it's possible. What else? We can have a light, uh, day version, then a night version. I can do like two very different baking uh, versions. I don't know. We can make things move, obviously. I don't like this. It's too thin. I say I stopped. And hey, I am doing changes on this. Oops. Uh, ah, shoo. Come on. No. No! Okay, I have it. Yeah, that's better. How about animating the screen? Yeah, that's for sure. But what can we put on the screens? We can put almost everything we want. We can create a canvas. You guys can maybe... Oh, you guys can draw on a website. And we get what you draw and we put it on... No, that's actually probably a bad idea if I let uh, everybody draw anything. Uh, we can put the chat, we can put um, people that connect, we can put the, the top subs there. Uh, we can put news, we can... Uh, I don't know. I like 3GS, but I am a little uh, disoriented. I think that there is a very much technologies or library that... To learning, are you front frontend developer or full stack? What advice do you give me? You kind of lost me. Uh, wait, let's see if I can understand your message. You like 3 js that's right, but I'm a little disoriented. All right, I think that there is very much, there is very much technology libraries that to learn, to learning. Yeah, I'm having troubles understanding what you're asking. Me, I'm a, I'm a creative developer, uh, front end mostly, but I did a lot of uh, back-end too, so I'm, uh, I'm kind of full-stack. Uh, well, un under torture, I might be full-stack developer, but uh, usually I'm most uh, front-end and currently most creative. I do less and less uh, HTML and CSS every day. But yeah, just learn 3.js, just 3.js first, and then you can add like bonus libraries to do animations, to do interactions, uh, to add physics, but just learning 3GS will be already a huge step. Focus on that. He's pretty good at math. Oh, that's great. Lucky one. I mean, lucky probably probably worked for it. Are you talking about Yuri, right? On PC, make someone can type a specific command that can change something like light or uh, something. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. I mean, do you mean on PC like this PC? It's like a black box. Uh, it's not a like RGB uh, PC uh, with all the lights pump it up. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot I put it. <laughs> Merchandising. <laughs> oh, we need to fix that too. Yeah, I remember. Let's do uh, accurate uh, as possible. So. Up, up, up. Those are not the right ones. I have the other IKEA, IKEA model, which looks like... Yeah, I know that's weird. Follow me. This. Oh, oh we have the clamping. Actually, I don't want it. We add some space. Yeah. Yeah, a bit less interesting, but accurate. All right, cool. Uh, let's move on. So the bed. Yeah, let's see if we can do the same cushion thing because uh, it was 
quite a nightmare, but I'm sure with some experience we can get there. Uh, so yeah, let's put it there. Why not? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I should start instead from that. Uh, it should be something like that. Oh, let's make the shape the right size already. Less surprise. All right, you will see where it's kind of a rectangular, but it has uh, like a cushion or one, pillows or one. You'll see. I think it's more interesting. We have uh, it's a very geometrical um, room I have. So instead of the round bed, uh, we do that. So it does something like oh no, never mind. That yeah. Ikea, <laughs> isn't it Ikea in English? We say Ikea in French because uh, French people don't uh, they don't care about how you pronounce things uh, exactly. It's how we are. So then we need to do individual uh, extrude. So Alt E, individual face. Yeah. Okay, so something like that. In theory, we have... Yeah, see? We have some faces on the inside. Then... Uh, let me think. Oh, maybe we can do that. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's pump it. All right? Um, yeah, we are going to need to put something below it. Yeah, this should be fine. So this uh, would just serve as collision. It doesn't need to move. I think we can do that. Always forget where. Come on, stay with me. Timeline. Okay, actually, just being a collision is enough. Then this one we need to add clothes, and in clothes we need to add. Where's the pressure? I missed it. Yeah, pressure. So. Without any values, is it working or not? No, okay. So we add more. Oh, we need to add subdivision, obviously. Mm. Come back, maybe. All right, I think it's working. So subdivisions. Wait, what the? Okay, it's there. Should we add subdivision surface or what? Nope. Okay, it's because it's there. I don't think this is working, but still we can try. Okay, let's add more pressure, maybe. Oh yeah, because I think the weight of each uh, vertex is pushing it uh, down. So right now it's way too heavy. So we need to add more pressure and the pressure is over, over here. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, it's getting there. Three, maybe. Ah, didn't change a thing. Wait, let me reduce that. 0 0.05 maybe. All right. Okay. It's a living being. 0 0.5. No, it was 0 0.3, right? Right? I think you can reset it. Is it to default? Yeah, that was it. Oh, that's weird. It's not exactly what I was expecting, obviously. I key her. I key her. No way. Ikea in Indonesia. Really? I'm not even sure I'm reading uh, the phonetic version right. 
you think that in the future 80% of the website might be in 3D? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, it depends on why we use 3D4. And I already did uh, quite a few talks about that. There are three main reasons to use 3D. Um, to showcase a product, because it's the main feature, like a game, and um, just to make something cool. For me, those are the three reasons. I have actually a doubt on the second one, but those are the three reasons. Most websites don't need that. The Maybe they are not selling a product. Maybe the product are, is, doesn't have to be displayed in 3D. Um, maybe it's not a game. Maybe they don't have the budget to just make something that will create the buzz. So no, no, no I don't think uh, we will keep having 3D website because it serves a lot, but I don't think we will have like a, most of the website being uh, in uh, 3D, that's for sure. So it's not working at all. Uh, let's see. Uh, and yet again, I'm going to spend a half an hour playing with those parameters and get nowhere. Like that. Oh, yeah, I need to leave that. Come on, pump, pump. Wait, that's weird. Why? Okay. It wasn't close. How? <laughs> How is that possible? It's so weird. Yeah, okay, it's all messed up. Let's see if I can just repair it. Uh, let's hide this. Let's hide this one. Okay, that's why this is going to be hard. Like if I move this, all right, this is common to those. All right. That's so weird when you extrude, you're supposed to keep the thing at the bottom, right? Maybe there's something else. No, it's fine. I was trying to uh, inflate, we say inflate, like an open uh, balloon. I can't do the edge uh, loop selection. Yes, I know there is a shortcut for that, but it's not working because the edges are being shared so that the shape stays uh, connected. Okay, this one is working. Nice. Okay. Might be better. Maybe. So, oh, that's weird. See the color? It's me or it's red? That's weird. Alright, pump it, pump it. Come on. Ah. I think it's too heavy for himself because of the weight of the vertex. But if I put not enough, it's going up. Oh. Oh, yeah. Getting there. All right, let's put pressure faster, maybe three. Yeah, not bad, not bad. All right, can we maybe add more there? Meh, doing something weird there. That's cool. I don't like that. Yeah, those are weird. Did I mess up with the model? No, the model seems okay. Maybe the subdivision. Yeah, I should not. I should use a simple subdivision, maybe. Ah, why is it going through? That's so weird. Okay, pump it, pump it. Come on, pump it. 
Okay, maybe less details. Uh, I think we need quite a lot of polygons. Oh, nice. Okay, why is the middle one that big? The middle one should be the smallest. Let's see. Okay, maybe we need to make those like smaller. Merge to last. No. Merge at last. Yeah, let's do that. I love the fact that when you click that, see, there is two vertices right here. But you know that you took the one being part of this because of the, the kind of gradient on the edge there. And this one is the other one. And this one is the other one. See? Super cool. I think that Blender selection is not perfect, but uh, it's one of the best in the, in the different software we can see. Merge at last. No, obviously, I took the wrong one after saying that. All right, this is cool. Nice. Let's check. Oh, I just saw something weird. <laughs> what the hell is that? Okay, should be okay. Should be okay. I will check the chat. Give me just a moment. I need a new playlist. I've been hearing this one for way too long. <laughs> yep, what's that? Alright. So I'm not sure I might have break a lot of stuff there. Ah, that's not bad. The one at the center is always too big. I wonder what. Why? Is there any way to make it smaller? I think it's cool. We can use that, but yeah. Should we just like make those higher? Yeah. yeah. It's messing with those parts even more. Once bake, this will be ugly as F, clearly. Can we improve that? Are those being murdered or not? No, they are not. I don't know. Let me catch up the chat. I'm going to use this 3D room for a website later. <laughs> I need to write this somewhere because I've been uh, saying it uh, a lot of times. Uh, to purpose, to show my display. Because I get uh, this question. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like when I do that. Okay, it's back. Uh, I get a lot of, uh, what's your setup? So I will be able to, I don't know, people will click on it and see uh, every object of my setup. And the other purpose is to create a waiting, um, waiting, uh, let's say, uh, in waiting interactive scene before I start the stream. And you guys can interact uh, with the, the scene. I don't know, light, uh, put the lights on, uh, change what's on the TV, uh, do some interactions with the plant, with the octopus. switch from day to night or whatever. Yeah, hugs. I forgot about the hugs. <laughs> hey, Xenji. Super Bruno. <laughs> I'm fine. What about you? How much demand is there on the 3D skills you bring to web development? How much demand is there for 3D skills you bring to web development? I'm not sure to follow uh, what you ask. Do I get a lot of uh, like job uh, offers, project offers? Is that it? Oh, it's going well. David develops. Dav David develops. A lot of these. 
maybe product configurator product configurator what do you mean like this this project could be a pro product configurator how much time to render actually i think it's going to be quite fast uh to have a decent result because i'm using my pc gaming setup uh, which has a pretty cool uh, gpu not the best i need to buy a new one but uh yeah i've heard that it's super hard to get uh, new gpus uh, these days thanks to crypto and stuff like that Oh yeah, before Battlefield, uh, the new Battlefield comes out, I think I need to change my uh, my GPU. It's good, but uh, I want the best experience. So yeah, I don't think it will be uh, too long. <laughs> we need Dr. Piston Taco moving. All right, maybe I will do something for that. Can be like a balance animation. This would be quite easy to do. If we want like a real animation, that would be uh, much harder. Actually, that would be the, uh, the opportunity to, um, to do some um, rigging. I did it maybe twice, maybe three times in, in my life. I think I did rigs only twice. Yeah, interaction through the chat. Yeah, yeah. I want you guys to be able to do like uh, exclamation mark, room, uh, lights on or something like that. TV on, uh, um, uh, rainbow light or whatever. I will put obviously uh, those comments uh, once they're already uh, in the description or somewhere else. For, oh yeah, um, I don't know. So yeah, the question was uh, if there is a lot of uh, demand f for 3D on the web. I would say yes, because I get projects every day. Like people are asking me to work on their website every day. So I would say yes, but I think I get a lot of uh, offers and maybe uh, more than what the market is really. So my opinion is yes but ask other people uh, to see if it's true, right? And anyway, what's true is that it's going up, up, up uh, because it's becoming uh, easier and more compatible with all our devices. And, uh, and yeah, we have more people uh, having the right skills. So it's going up anyway. So it's great to, uh, to learn it uh, now. Nike Vector. Vance custom design, you can configure how you want your shoe. In the shoe around in 3D. But for this project? Uh, let's finish the dog bed. If we had okay, this might be a bad idea, but if we had another subdivision, can we duplicate it? Yeah, it's working. But this one with a cat mule. And then we move it there. Ooh, that's clean. Should we have a look to the... Ooh. Okay, way too much. Okay, let's just reduce it once. Oh, it's looking good too. Okay, so this one... There's quite a lot of polygons. We can get rid of everything below it. Yeah, I think it's not bad. This thing is so weird. See that red stroke? I wonder what's happening. Actually, we can see it there. Oh, that's not good. The mesh seems fine. Two details, obviously, but the mesh seems fine. That's so weird. Yeah. Anyway, up. Here's the bed. <laughs> that was a long process. Uh, we could have done that uh, without all this process, but still, we're getting better with the uh, pleasure thing. So, uh, so it was uh, interesting. Anyway. Uh, you shouldn't care how long he spent learning web dev. <laughs> Go at your own rhythm. Oh yeah, that's for sure. What was the question when you started learning? When you started learning web development, how many hours were you spending in learning every day? I have no idea. I don't count 
Um, but I have some advice on that. First, focus on what you like. Because you will not count the hours if you like what you do. It's like playing video games. Are you really counting the hours like, a, okay, uh, tomorrow's hour of uh, playing video games? No, if you like it, you, you won't count hours. And when you wake up, you will be happy to start immediately. Obviously, uh, for client projects, it's not always something we like. But you need to tend to go on that direction and uh, doing your own project uh, just for fun so that you learn and you start to get known for that you like to do. Then you will have clients that will go to you and ask and pay you to do what you like to do. So that's the idea. So don't count on it. Don't count the hours. And, uh, and actually, I don't think I was... Uh, yeah, maybe a few hours uh, every week. Like really f learning something, a few hours every week. Three, four hours, like a cool tutorial on YouTube or something like that. Every week, not day, week. But then the project, on every project uh, I had uh, the opportunity, I was adding cool stuff. Cool stuff uh, I like to do. So I was doing extra hours at work during the evening and, uh, and even the weekends to improve the project, go beyond what the client asked, but I was having fun. And then I got known for those kind of stuff. That's the idea. How do you manage between your office work and your freelance work? Uh, and even pet project. Pet project? You mean my dogs? <laughs> uh, actually, it's, um, this question depends on when. Because right now, I don't uh, really work anymore. Uh, I mean, I still have some small fr freelance project and I'm doing some uh, kind of freelance project for friends, but uh, I don't work really anymore. I'm doing streaming, I'm working on the course. I'm uh, doing some community management, some, uh, what's the name, like uh, uh, service après vente in French. So it's, uh, yeah, I don't know, like you, when you take care of people that bought your product. Sorry, I don't have the, the English name. So today is very different. But before, um, when, I, when I was like at work, I have a job, but also I was doing freelance. The idea is that I was always taking projects that I knew I was, um, I was going to enjoy doing it. For the same reason I just explained uh, right before, it's because uh, when you end your shift, you, you've been working at uh, your job for the full day, you get home and you need to work again on a freelance project. Obviously, you need uh, to like that project if you want to, to really advance on that project and uh, you probably have deadlines, so yeah. So always accept, even if it's not well paid, I always was um, choosing the, the fun uh, client uh, project for freelancing. Always. All right, this way it was uh, easier. Ah, this is what you call a pet project? All right, cool. I would have said personal project, yeah, but okay, pet project. Less obviously when you do like, um, you have your main job, you have your freelance job on the side, um, you have almost no time to create like experiments. And I was doing not many, uh, I mean, personal projects. I wasn't doing a lot of uh, personal projects when I had those, but sometimes I was refusing freelance projects so that when I go home or during the weekend, I could, uh, uh, I could work on those uh, personal projects. Oh yeah, it's time management. It's uh, always hard and you have to, uh, to uh, take some decisions. Oh, we can remove that, by the way. Oh, we can remove that too. Oh, not exactly, wait. We can do this. And that, right? Actually, this one is, we can remove this one too. And this, we can move it. Oops. Yeah, nice. Try to remove every faces that you can't really see uh, because it will take space on the UV and you want the smallest textures as possible. So I always try to do that. This one, I can't delete everything. Yeah, I need this one, that's for sure.
Yeah, okay, nice. All right, let me catch up with the chat. Any advice to find an apprenticeship on Par uh, Paris? Uh, you need to show your projects. You need to show your projects. Um, having done specific schools might help um, all the um, uh, what is, um, uh, alternative to schools. You know, there are, uh, I don't know the name, like uh, a train something or specific training. Those doesn't uh, work a lot. Being part of the school might help a little, depends on uh, the agencies and uh, studios uh, you're targeting, but it's just a matter of the projects you've done. So you need to be able to show those projects uh, and uh, if possible, famous project. Like if you show them, they're like, oh yeah, this project, uh, we saw it. That's already a good start. But yeah, it's just a matter of the project. It can be personal projects. Absolutely. Like uh, at least uh, even if your portfolio is full of personal projects, why not? It's not as good as professional project because you get a lot of uh, constraints when, using, uh, when um, working on a... Um, client project, a professional project, which is something hard to, uh, to to manage, but still it's always good. So what's matter is just uh, what's inside your portfolio. And the, your, the portfolio itself doesn't have to be great, but your projects are very important. You can even create a Notion page. I I've seen a lot of people doing, um, how do you say, like a candidate, be a candidate using Notion and you create a public page on Notion, you put your stuff, images, links. This is more than enough. Bruno is French. Oh, how do you know? <laughs> you have to go. All right. See you later. Uh, sorry, I have to go from on my connection, so I didn't see. Oh, OK. Uh, wait. I have to. I have got a big problem. Oh, never mind. Uh, on my connection, so didn't see. Wait, wait, wait. Let me catch up. Just want to ask you how many cost one website. I didn't answer yet uh, your question. So how many? Uh, the question was. Sorry, I'm having trouble with the chat. Uh, following the chat. Oh no, I did a mistake. All right, guys, I can't see the chat anymore. Okay, it's back. Can I move that? The Twitch dashboard is great, but performances are so bad. Wait, I, I would check the chat uh, from last two first. FIFO. Fourth, first one. No, I don't get it. Yeah, okay. Uh, on m'a présenté ton portfolio un bootcamp. Yeah, bootcamp was the name of, uh, I was uh, looking for. Nice to meet you. Yeah, everything is in English. Yeah, I don't mind. Uh, try to use English. Uh, that would be great. <laughs> Yeah, I've got problem. All right, any advice to find an apprenticeship? All right, I insert this one. Yeah, makes sense to me. Thank you. Great. Uh, pet project. All right. The question was, hey, how are you? I just want to ask one question. How many cost one website with 3GS? I have a client who wants a 3GS website. I don't know how much. It depends on the website. You need to, to give me more details. Maybe you have um, other references, like uh, you want something a bit like this with that and uh, some of this. I might be able to answer you, but um, uh, I get a lot of uh, how much for your portfolio, like people that just want my portfolio, but for their product or whatever, which is absolutely not how things work. Um, the price would be, let me uh, check it, between 20 and 40. So it's going to be around, yeah, 30,000 uh, euros in euros. So that gives you an ID, and that includes um, uh, 3D modeling, kind of 3D designing, the physics, the interaction, uh, mobile, uh, and all the things that gravitates around good performances. LIFO, <laughs> last in first start, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I I'm not uh, very expensive. But if you want a more complex website with multiple page, this is just like WebGL, like a scene, you can interact, you have physics, it works on, uh, on most devices. But obviously, if you have multiple pages, uh, backend, uh, like a CMS, you have to plug on something, doing some API stuff, well, you triple the price. So it's starting to get close to uh, 100,000 uh, uh, euros. And usually I can't do that on my own, obviously. We need uh, at least one designer, at least one mo uh, 3D modeler, 
at least one uh, front or back and one front, uh, I mean, um, WebGL uh, slash front. So it uh, depends really on the, the, the skills of each one. So it's at least a team of four people. I'm just like throwing uh, stats like that, but obviously you have to adapt on the clients, uh, where you live, uh, constraints, uh, how many people is, are going to work, your experience, the timing, like if the client want uh, all of those in one month, obviously you double the price because you will uh, sleep uh, twice as less. <laughs> I've seen simple WordPress go for that kind of price. Yeah, some people are kind of pulling a bit too hard. Uh, yeah. Price can go from from very low to very high. It depends on the on the, the client, uh, the the developers, the designers. Uh. All right, cool. Uh, let's move forward. So, what did we do last? Oh yeah, the dog bed. The dog bed is not bad. Yeah, I like the dog bed. The, 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 the dog bed. Let's remove some stuff in the back. Can we go all the way to there? Oh, that's clean. Nice. Uh, this one, ah, we can do the same. Check that. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. One of my favorite uh, shortcut, not well known, is a uh, control plus, 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 plus. See that? So useful. So if I do one more, too much, all right, then we can get rid of those. Nice. Maybe we need to do some work on those. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit mess up there. Anyway, some people do charge in that range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30,000 for a WordPress might sound a bit too much, but uh, I hope like uh, it's uh, super fast, fully personalized. Uh, you get also some um, uh, min maintenance. Like, I don't know, for three months, if, if anything happens, uh, the, the, the agency will take care of it. Um, hosting, there is the hosting part too. Uh, yeah, that sounds a bit expensive for WordPress, but can be justified. Uh, yeah, yeah, freelancing is uh, well paid in uh, Europe. It's even more, uh, it's even better in the uh, USA. Uh, like my clients, uh, clients hired from the USA were even more uh, what's the name like uh, enclin okay to pay uh, quite a lot uh, in france it's kind of they are kind of cheap but still it's uh, pretty well as long as you you're well known and they know you're going to work really well on the project and everything will be done well and in time uh, it's fine But yeah, that's a good question. We don't talk uh, about that a lot. I'm trying to explain to my uh, students uh, this because when you're a student, you're just starting. You, are, you say, oh, website, 1,000 euro. We all did that. Remember, the, the, uh, I don't know how many of you are doing freelancing, but remember your first projects, how much it was. For me, it was nothing. It was less like a, a small website, still a website, less than 1,000 uh, euros. I was still a student. I was still starting. Uh, I wasn't, I was not comfortable at all, so that was the price. I was so happy, but then I discovered that, no, you can price a lot more. But yeah, you have to start somewhere. Also, you have to adapt the price to uh, potential issues and uh, let the client be aware of that. Like, if it's too hard, you say to the client, it's gonna be hard, I will make the price a bit cheaper, uh, I might fail, we might ha it might take more time. Uh, make that clear with the client. Usually they agree because it's less money to spend, so they appreciate. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, you go. All right, can I really do that like this? Like that. And then uh, it was all. Yeah, along normal. How about nope? Okay, that's the one. Oh no, I did a mistake. No, 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 no. Come back, come back. Oh, please, 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 please. 
Oh, I forgot to save an archive version of the the, cush the pillow, the dog bed. No, I can't go all the way. Oh, come on, that's a big mistake. All right, let's go back to it. Shoo! See, I'm speaking, I'm chilling, and here's the result. I was supposed to add these, those, um, we said the name uh, yesterday, it was uh, Stitches before doing the subdivision. And I failed. Shoot. Oh, let's see if we can get something done. Okay, I forgot those. All right, even more actually. Yeah, like that. Should we take those two? Yeah, maybe. It's a lot of polygons. Maybe not the one inside. Yeah, let's not use the one inside. Yeah, those one are fine. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, let's not take this one. Might look a bit weird, but I think it's better. Yeah, okay. Then... Yeah, very small one because we already did the, the subdivision. Big mistake. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. I messed it up. Let's keep it like that. Yeah, I did some mistakes. Maybe I will do it again. Anyway. Okay, it's not that bad in terms of polygons. We have the dog bed. Let's check it. Yeah, I wanted to do a dog bone, like the toy, you know, your dogs can chew. Okay, let me catch up with the chat. I think that's a lot of polygons. <laughs> True. Is that a dog bed? Yes, at least you saw that it's a dog bed. <laughs> I don't know if we do the dog. We'll see. You need to take risk into account when you are freelancer. Yeah, true. All the time you uh, will not find work to pay for the beer. Yeah, true. True, true, true. 40 euros, euro mine. Yeah, see? Those websites are so cheap. <laughs> but it takes time. We do mistakes. Uh, the website work absolutely nowhere. So, yeah. We have to start somewhere. What do you do after you make a website uh, for a client? You manage it after? And if they want to change a part of the website to add new products, for example, it's all written in my conditions. And uh, like adding stuff, they will pay more. Usually if, if it's like, I don't know, like one day of work, okay, I do it for free, it's fine. Uh, if it was a the client, uh, it was a good project, the client is paying well, uh, I don't care, I can work a few days more uh, without uh, asking for anything. But uh, everything is written in the conditions and uh, if the website something break, I have to fix it for something like two or three months. And if he wants new features that are not listed in the, in the contract, uh, I can ask them to pay for it. That's the idea, you have to, to protect yourself. And also this contract will engage engage yourself on doing uh, things you're supposed to do. So it's, uh, it works in both both ways. Uh, in France, it depends on who you are and what you do. And what was the question? War, Francine? Yeah, true. Yeah, the reputation uh, plays a lot uh, too. Because if you're famous, obviously we get more clients and people will kind of, uh, I mean, clients will kind of fight to get you to do their websites or you see, the more famous you are, the, the better 
you can uh, play on the prices. How long? I don't know. How long have I been streaming? I don't think it's like one hour. One hour and a half. All right, cool. Uh, I'm feeling like continuing. What time is it? Okay, it's 5 p.m. here. And I want to finish. See that? It's getting close to the end. I think I forgot stuff. Did I forget stuff? We have the consoles, we have the VR, PS4, the controller, TV, nothing on the walls. Oh yeah, we need to add one more light there. It's a bit too much, no? I have so many lights. But this one might look really cool. Like there is one light uh, right behind the, um, the Mac, so this, and uh, a side of the plants. And it looks really cool when uh, it's really, it's on. But, but first I need to do a quick break. Give me two minutes. Cheers. Oh, it's getting even hotter. 31. Way too hot. I wanted to run after, but uh, I think it's a bad idea. Is it working? Yeah, I think it's working. All right, cool. Um, so, what was I doing? I had a dog bone. You really understand that it's a, it's a dog uh, bed. Uh, what exactly? Dog bone. Oops. Yeah, something like that. You know, it's those uh, chewy uh, dog bones. How hard can that be? Hmm. Something tells me that it's not that easy to do. Uh, let's see.
Oh, I should do like a double symmetry actually. Let's see. Let's do it smart. At least we can practice a bit, uh, a bit more with the the mirror thing. And just to get you guys' opinions, do you think something around 34, uh, wait, uh, 3,400 uh, euros is good salary in Amsterdam for a content dev with some backend experience? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't even remember how much I was paid. That sounds okay yeah i think that sounds okay four years uh, if the job is good that sounds okay if the job is boring that sounds low also do you have like um opportunities to uh to get more can i create can i fix it to the center oh no i can't oh that's weird yeah, we can fix that some, some uh, in other ways. Oh, we can do actually a... F oh yeah, we can do full symmetry. Yeah, let's try that. Like a symmetry on every axis. Uh, might be a mistake, we'll see. Zero. Uh, on the, this one. Yeah, this one. Quite the same. S X zero. All right, cool. Then we can move it a bit because it's a mess. Yeah, okay. And then we can do a mirror. Poof, poof. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we can do something with that. Should we add the modifier before or after? I mean, the subdivision surface. Oh yeah, it's working. Yeah, I I could have done it without the mirror, but still, I think it's good to practice that. This is not accurate. Maybe we can do something like that. Merge at last. Merge at last. Yeah. And we can do something. Oh, actually, no, I should not have done that. This one can go away like that. Oh, stop that. Is it? That's a bit well. And what if we put the subdivision before? Ah. No. No. Such a detail room. Yeah, probably too much. But I got uh, a bit disappointed. Um, we see a lot of um, room in uh, Pinterest, uh, YouTube tutorials. Um, they are great when you see the thumbnail. You see the, the, you want to click on the video, you see the thumbnail, you're like, oh, that's beautiful. You click on it, you watch the video, and in the end you're like, meh. And I think it's really disappointing because it's a lack of details. The dudes usually do it like super fast, like in uh, three hours they they don't they they do all the rooms, so it's crazy. Uh, but still, I think it's a bit disappointed. So me, I'm trying to do the opposite. Have a lot of details. I will obviously regret once we are going to uh, UV and wrap all of those. But still, I think uh, it will look great. I want to recreate the perfect room once and for all. I say that, but obviously, if I change my setup, I will have to change uh, those. But uh, yeah, that's my that's a problem for my future me. Like gla glass door, don't give a nice opinion about that. Sites like glass door, what's what's glass door? Glass door, recherche d'employeur, glass door. Ah, I yes, I've heard of that. I didn't know uh, the name was glass door. Which is actually, I think, a good initiative. Hmm. 
So, yeah, the bun. Can we improve it? That doesn't look right. Yeah, okay, we can do something about that. It's a heart. That's cute. That's better. That's weird. Oh, what's happening there? Hmm. Oh, what's that? Why is it going inward like this? That's weird. We put the um, subdivision after. Yeah, see? Maybe it's not exactly at the center. I mean, uh, aligned with the other. Yes, it is. Do we have like a face? Ah, oh, we have a face there. <laughs> that's on me. Yeah, that's a cool bone. I like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's fine. I like it. All right. It's a bit slightly too big. Just slightly. Uh, we can keep those for now. Yeah, let's keep those. That's a big bone. Now let's reduce it slightly. We have a detail room. Let's keep the detail room. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. All right, nice. Stop uh, messing up with my uh, Google history. Okay, nice. Yeah, someone asked for the guitar. Is this per person here? I wasn't sure to do it because uh, I haven't played guitar for, I don't know, like three years maybe. So it's getting dusty <laughs> for nothing. But yeah, someone asked me to do it, so why not? Actually, it's, a, it's a, an interesting uh, shape. When do you think you are going to bake it into 2D textures? Want to see how to uh, do it? Uh, if you uh, want to see this part specifically, not tomorrow, that's for sure. Maybe on the um, Mardi, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, maybe on Tuesday. And after that, unfortunately, I have to uh, to leave. I'm doing uh, like a, a one week uh, holiday, so it will be uh, way later. But uh, maybe on Tuesday. Uh, usually I'm late because I spend too much time on details. All right, let me just get a picture of the guitar. Much, huh? <laughs> yeah, the zoom is uh, the blur is not working. And the focus. I need to buy a new head headset. Do you guys have uh, any uh, reference for a gaming headset? Microphone doesn't need to be great, but uh, no wire. Gaming and no wire being not very friendly, I know, but uh, I really need a no wire headset. If you guys have recommendations. Not too expensive, obviously. So yeah, the guitar. Let's do the guitar. Let's go. Uh, actually, I forgot to put the bone. I can put it there. Yeah, okay. All right, let's do the guitar. So we can do that. Oops. Actually, if we put a guitar, where do we put the guitar? Ooh. 
Actually, we don't have room for the guitar. Uh, there. Yeah. Currently, the guitar is aside of, of the TV, but uh, maybe we can put it there and hide the shelves so that we don't have to put too much stuff on the shelves. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, subdivision, all right. missing there yeah that's it how about you change the guitar with some stuff you put on table like pizza or what yeah you think the, the table is a bit uh, sad I guess actually I have uh, three statues overwatch statues there well, I'm not going to recreate those characters Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. But it's always kind of clean. <laughs> I have almost nothing uh, like uh, leftovers or everything is usually uh, rangé. I don't know the name in English. Now I will focus on the guitar, then the shelves, and then I think we are done for the modding. I want to finish uh, today the modding. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, okay, how can I remove a part there? If I add subdivision like this, yeah, it will mess up with it. And I can do like Control Shift E, no Control E. Oh, I can't add weight there. Yeah, it's not working. I have to do Boolean. Oh. How many polygons do we have? Yeah, it's fine. All right, let's do the Boolean. So it's something like this. I need to make sure that it's not overlapping with it. This. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Okay, so this part needs to be bigger and I messed up. All right, cool. Let's get back to what we had. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's have the rough shape first. And then we add stuff. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I need to dissolve those. Uh, yeah, this one was better. Okay, then it's doing so wider. And this part needs to be bigger. Yeah, will not be very accurate, but I think it's fine. Mm, yeah, I think we can manage. What's the cylinder there? Something like that. Yeah. Which means that this is not accurate. Yeah, this one can go down a bit. Okay, that's cool. Um, so yeah, we can apply this one, do the boolean on this one. Oh, the shortcut is not... Ah, shoof, I forgot. Ah, oh, what's the... Ah, oh, can I find it? Bull tool? Yeah, that's it. Nice. So yeah, boolean, just like I hate it. 
minus one floor for the shelf then hang the guitar above the shelf is an option <laughs> yeah maybe at least hide a part of it Ranger Tilly oh, you lost me there what are you talking about? Ranger Tilly what is a TD? how about you change the guitar with some I already saw this one All right, cool. Um, yeah, let's move forward. So we have this, we have that. I think it's a bit bigger. Yeah, the shape on top is getting smaller. That. Yeah. It's quite thick. The hole is over there. All right, cool. This is already a line. I can create the hole like this. Like something like that, I guess. Yeah, actually we need to, uh, ah, yes, it needs to be em empty on the inside. Can we do that with Solidify? Yeah. I think it's empty. Yeah, nice. All right. And we apply and we do that. Yeah, that's cool. Not too big. No guitar expert, don't hesitate to tell me if I'm doing some mistakes. Uh, yeah, we have something there. Oops, that's not what I meant. Nice. Yeah, we can do the strings after. Okay, then there is this shape at the end. Should not be too hard. Let's see. It's doing something like that. Oops. Come back. Right, I need to make it small like this. Oh, actually, it's way too big. Or oh, maybe not. Maybe just a bit too big. Let's see. Come on. bad yeah that's more like it 
This part is quite long. You ask how to say ranger this part? Ranger, all right, cool. I'm saying the, the word, <laughs> okay. Is it a bit long, the arm of the guitar? I'm not sure, actually, it's quite long, let's see. It's almost the length of this part. Yeah, actually, it's accurate. That's a bit weird, but uh, I think it's like that. Okay, nice. Mm, actually, I will do that after putting those... Uh, you know, the thing at the end of the string, the thing on the sides too. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I like it. Smooth. You can apply the automatic one. Ah, this one too. Okay, nice. It is okay. It is for tall guy. Yeah, let's say that. <laughs> yeah, it looks way too uh, long. Ah, let's fix it. Probably right. Okay, cool. Um, let's do the strings. Uh, so for the strings, how can we do that without having too much polygons? Actually, there's a thing there. Yeah, we can do that. So yeah, we need strings. Um, should we use? Should we try again? Yeah, let's try again those. What? to here I'm doing a bit more like too precise but uh, I want to practice so it's a good opportunity all right and this one can go even beyond and then we have to spread them accordingly all right sounds like a good idea um, I'll put one on the side yeah, at the edge. They don't separate that much. Maybe slightly. So shift D X. Ah, two, three, four, five, six, six. All right, cool. Nice. Then let's add this famous bevel. Where are you, bevel? Mm, no, I need to. Ah, oh yeah, I need to convert it first to curve. Yeah, nice. Way too precise. Actually, I think we can go for almost square. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, actually, that's the minimum. I don't know, that's the minimum. <laughs> Should we do that? Yeah, actually, let's do that. See? Maybe on the edge, you can see that it's not uh, round, but if you had a full smooth 
the normal will be uh, interpolated between the, the faces and you get something that looks uh, perfectly round. We just won, I don't know, like 10, uh, 12 vertices, uh, faces, <laughs> like that. I don't know. All right, that's cool. Uh, we are going to move those. Uh, first, we're going to spread them. Yeah, let's see. What's the smartest way of doing it? Um, yeah, the strings are thick, but uh, I want them to be able... To oh, wait, this is too thick, too. Uh, wait, 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 I don't like that. Damn, that was noisy. Oh, he's gifting one here. Oh, thank you. To Shiverless. <laughs> It's too bad sometimes you click on things we can't see because there is your camera in front of it. Oh, really? Oh, uh, uh, like there. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Should I get rid of the camera? Should I put the camera on the left? Sorry, you won't like that. Actually, the camera is too big. Bye. Yeah, so it's probably a nightmare to see. I know, I know. Oh no, the chat is there. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I can do much. Let's make this one bigger so that I have less chance to click uh, where you can't see. So yeah, what was I doing? What is the, this red thing? Mm. Yeah, this one is too thick. Yeah, that was the problem. All right, cool. Nice, then we can move this up. Okay, that's cool. We have to create one thing here. little bumps at the end um, I'm going to create cylinders because I don't want too much polygons something like 8 should be more than enough it's very precise but I'm having fun might reuse it uh, later I never reuse my models too far let's not be too picky I want to finish the models today I'm really not sure I can depends on what we will put on the shelves we will put a lot of books I think not even put the covers on it all right that's cool I like it very good very good uh, we can do oh can we subdivide oh no hmm Wait, let me see. We can extrude, right? So if I extrude this, all right, this one is working. So let's do way too precise stuff, as always. We'll see why I'm doing that. You probably guessed it, but let's do it. That's pre precision stuff.
Ja, das Co. Tada! Oder ob sie es vor hat. Alright. Das Co. Nobody will see those details. But we know. And you know. You know that I exist. Maybe I should share the model so that everybody can appreciate how detailed it is. It's li uh, like developer work on project. Can Blender designer contribute to same project at a time? Ah uh, yes, actually we can. Uh, the, I, I think there is a, there is a plugin. It was a work in progress, but uh, I think there is a plugin where people can interact with the same scene uh, together. I'm sure. I'm sure it's possible. You have to um, to be on the same uh, what is the name same uh, network, but you can uh, create a pseudo same network using uh, Yama Amashi Amashi. I think it's that Amashi. So you kind of uh, simulate uh, like a local server, and then you guys can uh, can work on that together. If someone has, has the link, uh, maybe you can post it in the chat. Uh, I would like to see how this project is going. But yeah, we can work on the same uh, same um, Blender files now. So yeah, oops. Let's get back to the picture. Okay, so we have, uh, yeah, we're almost done. For the guitar, I mean. Oops, sorry, that's not interesting. Uh, this needs to be way thicker, especially from there. Yeah, we will rotate everything soon. I think it's doing something weird in the back like this. And then there is this bump. Yeah. Yeah. And now actually it's much wider. was absolutely useless. All right, <laughs> I haven't changed a thing. Uh, so we have some other uh, kind of uh, cylinders. Yeah, that don't look exactly like cylinders. You know, it's the thing you have to to pull the string uh, all over. So it's looking. Uh, let's add just a bit more. Just like that. All right, cool. So we have. Okay, it's not a line, which is good. <laughs> or maybe bigger, actually. Yeah, something like that. I'm not going to do the roll around. I think I would just put the strings uh, on them. Should be enough. Uh, I don't like how smooth. Smooth. It is. Maybe we need to put them on our own. And we can do that. No, not, not like that. Uh, not sure. Mark sharp. Yeah. Nope. What? It's not working. Mark sharp. What the hell? Oh, wait. What's that? Oh, come on. 
<laughs> okay, it's all messed up. Yeah, sometimes I mess up with the extrude. Come on, control plus, plus. Yeah, I think the one on the top is fine. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, come on. It's obviously on the Z. Why don't... Oh. Sometimes you have to specify the... The axis, and sometimes no, and you... It on, um, oh, we got the seams working on... Oh, that's weird. The seams are not working. I, I wonder what I'm doing wrong. Those... Like if I had one there, mark seam. No, it's not a seam actually. It's a sharp. And yeah, see, the sharp is not working. Ah, it's working when you have the auto smooth. That makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> okay, let's do with that. Clear sharp. Where else do we need some? So this can be like fully smooth or actually maybe 60 is fine yeah okay that's cool so we have more of those uh is it big enough yeah it's big enough oh well, thanks for the sub i am web design i am web i am web design <laughs> uh where's the photo where's the photo there two hours cool yeah, the auto smooth. You need to add the auto smooth to then have the uh, sharps working. That's a bit weird. But anyway, you can put like a huge value and then uh, put the sharps yourself. But still, I think it's a bit weird. So we have one on this. This one is slightly offset. Then one there, one there, one there, and one there. Alright, maybe those are a bit too close. Let's see what, how it goes. So yeah, now we can move it. This one there. This one there. This one there. Okay, it's working. One there. One there. Eh, one there. That was cool. That was cool to do. Um, we're not totally done. Uh, what we can do now is rotate it. But I don't think you can rotate vertices and... Uh, what's the name? Um, uh, wait, what's the name? Curves at the same time. Which is weird, because why not? Let's see. Yeah, see? Alright, actually, if I don't go through... Yeah, that's weird. And I kind of understand those are not the same shortcuts and all those things, but that would have been a cool feature. So I have two options. Move them after. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah, I will do move them after so that we can keep the beaver thing and they stay as, as uh, what's the name? Um, I already forgot. Curves. Oops. Come back. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think this is fine. Then this one. Douche, douche. Yeah, cool. And then this can actually move there. Nice. We just need to add this, uh, the same kind of thing there. But on the other side, and uh, I think we're all done. Uh, we can put it, yeah. Oops. Ah. Yeah, I'm starting to do a lot of mistakes, which usually means that I'm a bit too tired to continue. Let's continue anyway. Come on.
Okay, nice. Oh, that's a cool guitar. Oh, I have also, you know, the uh, some stuff there. And those are important, actually. Oh, and they are kind of exponentially uh, uh, displaced. Oh, yeah. This one is a challenge. Hmm. I thought we were done with the guitar. <laughs> Massive fan of the Shotang Taie site. Cool. Glad you like it. Your course is your course covering the techniques used to create such experience, kind of. The problem with Shatong, which we kind of self-explain uh, why it's not in the course, Shatong took me, and I'm just talking about the WebGL part, one year. Not full, but still it was tremendously long and it was so specific to uh, really this project. So you will learn a lot of the techniques I used, but um, I won't lie, don't expect to be able to do Shatoin after a 40 hours course. It's a good start. You will know, m I don't know, maybe like 60% of the techniques I use, but there is so much more behind. Uh, you need to, to practice a lot. And the main issue actually was performances. Performances was so hard. I mean, the website is doing kind of well. I know it's not the best uh, website in terms of performances, but still, I used so many techniques. I spent weeks just working on the performances because we needed to find solution. It was not working on the, it was working like, I don't know, on one third of the, the computer. It's impossible to get a website like that. You can't put a website online. If it work, it doesn't work on most computers. So yeah, it was crazy. But yeah, that was a really cool project. I learned a lot doing it. And yeah, it was fun. Working with the M1 and didn't have any problem so far. Nice. What was the question? What do you think about working on Mac for web development? Is Blender supported on Mac M1? I think I'm done with the Macs. Uh, for web development, it's fine. Because you don't need such a great performances. Uh, font, classic font. I'm talking about classic font development. HTML, CSS, maybe some uh, uh, DOM animations. But... When it comes to 3D, the Max from two years ago, it's just a nightmare. It just doesn't work. And it's like not even better than my old, old Mac uh, that was like uh, five or six, no, no, maybe six or seven years ago. I almost start using my old Mac again. It was so bad, I almost did that. It was clean, it, uh, I really cleaned it, uh, put it back together and uh, almost started using it again because uh, I paid super expensive for a Mac from... Uh, it's not the last one, it's uh, it's not the M1 Max. It's just so bad. I can't do WebGL. And uh, I had this project, you know, um, Tag Heuer, the, the watch with uh, Mario in the watch uh, for Tag. Um, and we had an issue. It was that the website was slow on Mac. And it was because the weather was getting hot. So I said to, uh, to the, the studio, it was with uh, Bonhomme uh, Paris. I just asked, is it a Mac? Yes. Is it hot? Something like, uh, I don't know, 25 degrees. Okay, that's why. I can't do much. Your Mac is just being like half its power because it's overheating, because it's just slightly too hot. And it was true. Like if uh, the ambient temperature is above 20 degrees, the performances drops like crazy. Like I can't do WebGL, I can't do Blender, I can't stream anything. I mean, if, if it's a cheap computer, why not? But I paid 3,000 euros. I should stop talking about that. I'm getting pissed. Anyway, uh, I think I'm done with the Max. Max. Yeah, Max. I know the M1, but I've heard this uh, a lot. I hate paying a lot for shit. Sorry. So, back to it. Uh, it was a big project, but never expected one year. Yeah, yeah. Full time, I mean, uh, if it was full time, I think I spent something like uh, five months on it, maybe a bit more. Yeah, I think it's even more like six months. I, I don't really know. But yeah, I had to like uh, see the, the village. I had to position every houses and every trees and every streets manually on the two villages. That was so long. Still, it was kind of funny. I had fun uh, doing the villages, but uh, that was so long. 
would be awesome if one day for a stream you could talk about some of the work you have made and the challenges. I can't do that. I was actually wondering if it's something that might interest uh, people that we do some reviews, reviews of my projects, review the reviews of uh, other projects, students' projects too, that might be interesting. Because on the 3GS journey, there is a, you have access to a Discord server and people can post their works on the Discord server. Maybe we can review, uh, review those. What do you think about that? I was just going to order my MacBook Pro. Ah. Yeah, you have my opinion on that. Uh, problem is, I know people say, yeah, the M1 is good. Yeah, but I've heard that already, which is why I bought the latest uh, Mac I have like uh, two years ago. And it was instant regret. It was super expensive for nothing. You pay half the price, you get better using a PC. I know the OS is not that great, but still you have almost every software you need. Mac, uh, Apple do some great stuff, like the, um, the screens, they are very good. Like the, the colors are very accurate. Still, I hate this uh, Retina thing. For me, a screen, it's supposed to be a one, uh, uh, one ratio of pixel. But the colors are great, and also the trackpads. I like the, the Mac uh, trackpad, which is actually uh, one of the reasons why I buy, bought this uh, trackpad, external trackpad. They are great, they feel great. A bit too expensive, obviously, like everything with Apple, but they are great. But the, the, the hardware is garbage. Uh, software is actually garbage too. The OS, Mac OS is so bad. I have dozens of bugs and people are used to those bugs actually. That's funny because uh, some people told me, no, I don't have this bug, but they don't see those bugs anymore. Like it's part of it. Oh, you have to click twice. Yes. Oh, you have this thing that appears. Oh, you just want to open the notification and uh, it's slow. Like it's, the, I mean, it's so bad. The shortcuts are bad. They broke the emoji shortcut. And uh, everybody using the shortcut know about it. It's been months. They, they, they don't care. They don't care about fixing stuff. They just care about selling stuff and get a new Mac uh, every, every, every year. And I said I was going to stop talking about it and here I am talking about it, um, and it's not going very fast. So yeah, let's focus. So I'm going to use this one. Uh, so yeah, here's the trick. I actually don't know how I can do uh, that. We need to create, you know, those bars that go all the way through uh, the guitar. Uh, how thick are they? I think it's just like cylinders. Yeah, that's it. They look like that. They are very close to the string. Yeah, that's enough. Oh, actually, this is... Uh, ah, oof. Maybe we can fix that. Yeah, okay. All right. So, yeah, here's the idea. There is a bunch of those, but the higher on the bar, the further, further away. So I'm losing my English after a few hours of, of string. It is, see that? So I can position them roughly. So it's not that bad. I can uh, tweak it a little and it should be fine. But can we find something else? Let me think. I think I know. Yeah, maybe we can... Uh... Yeah, I would just start with... Wait, wait, wait. I'm doing some mistakes. Like that. Edges. Edges. Okay, so now we work with simple lines like that. Then, how many are, do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
Repeat after me. Let's count in French. Don't count in French. French numbers are such a nightmare. I complain a lot today. What's happening? <laughs> so, here's the trick. We do that. We repeat. Uh, 20 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, then what we do is proportional editing, uh, square root, maybe. Yeah, check that. Actually, let's get rid of those two. I think it's gonna work. Proportional editing, we just take one, make it big, and then, oops. Nice, check that. Then we can do that. Okay. There are probably way easier way of doing that, but still I think it's uh, cool. Ah, oh, it's a bit too much. Oh no. All right, let's get back. Yeah, more like, yeah, not too much. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's cool. I hope people will notice how much effort I put on this. <laughs> it was so long. Oh, yeah, that's a bummer. Now getting wider. Uh, can we just like... Uh, Ah, oh, yeah, I don't like that. Mm. Maybe we can do... Ah, oh, yeah, let's do the same. Let's do the same. We select the one at the edge and we do a linear... Yeah, like that. If you activate it, it's better, Bruno. Nice, check that. Yeah, I like it. All right. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Then we can do. Calm down. Uh, G. Y. How big should it be? Like that. Like that. Yeah, that's cool. And we can put it back there. Well, that was hard, but that was uh, super interesting. Like see, those are wider than those. That was cool. That was cool. All right, let me catch up with the chat. 99. Yeah, see that? 99. 99. It's 80. Oh no, it's worse. It's 20 by 4 plus 10 plus 9. Doesn't make sense. I wouldn't say easy. <laughs> How do you know what size your guitar should be? Uh, roughly. Uh, I, don't, I should have put maybe some, um, you know, like back image and, uh, and try to do exactly the same, but uh, I don't think it's that important. So yeah, this is more than enough. All right, so here's the guitar. Actually, I need to create, oh, no, come on, way too much. I wanted to create, you know, like the, the support, but uh, we don't care. You hear French, no, it, it bad. <laughs> not looking at us what are you doing can you give your student access to some individual blender asset files you've created oh guys if you want my files uh, just ask me on uh, twitter or discord or whatever and i will send you the files i don't care i don't put those files on github because sometimes they get really heavy and uh, then you receive some alerts from uh, github telling you that uh, if you keep posting, uh, posting uh, assets too big, you will get blocked. So I can't put them on GitHub. But uh, if you want my files, my 3D files, 
ask for it and I give you it uh, uh, freely. Wait, are you measuring with Caliper? What is Caliper? Agree on bugs. I used the Mac first time two years ago and I was like, is that the macros? Mac OS everyone hyped about? Yeah, and Mac is typically the thing that uh, people will tell you, yeah, it's intuitive. No, it's not. You just got used to it. Like, it's crazy. Like, there are stuff I, I, I haven't, uh, like, um, iOS. I haven't used iOS for quite a long time because I stopped. I started using Android. Half the price, twice as much. So I started using Android. It was true. Okay. I, I, I did well to listen to my friends. And, uh, and it was quite easy, quite fast. Then iOS got updated, updated, updated. And now I can't use iOS. I mean, I'm like, um, the name is Power User. You know, I'm always in, with digital stuff. I have many uh, screens, many softwares. iOS? I was like, okay, I want to get back to the home. What should I do? <laughs> I want to uh, de deactivate the sound. I want to, uh, you don't know, you can't know. But yeah, people got used to it. But be getting used to it, it doesn't mean it's uh, intuitive. Absolutely not. I don't really know what to think about iOS uh, interface because uh, I don't use it enough. Maybe I should use it for, I don't know, a month and then decide on that. But uh, I just don't agree on the, it's intuitive. It's not. Angry Bruno today. <laughs> How big is the guitar actually? Bigger. Yeah, it's way too big. <laughs> okay, it's all messed up. No, it's fine. See, I'm gonna fix that quite fast. You will see. The arm is might be oh, actually. Wait, I'll be back. I need to check the size. Slightly above the desk. Let's put it there. Yeah, okay, so it's a bit like that. We can fix that, don't don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Okay, nice. So more like that. Apply those. Yeah, you guys were right about the this part being too long. Actually, I think what I got wrong, I got this the right length, but I forgot about this. Yeah, so this is that much too long. Well, we can fix that. We select everything. Now we select just those. Let's make sure it's right. Just need to find the right setup. Okay. And zoo. <laughs> Ta-da! Now it's fine. Nobody will tell. Don't tell. I think this part is wider too. Oh, that's something weird. Ooh. Uh oh. Ah, yes, we have something inside too. I forgot. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Nice. Clean. So how should I position it without messing up 
too much. Yeah. It's not overlapping too much. Yeah, that's cool. Whew. So many details. Nice. Let me catch up with the chat. Oh, there's a lot of messages. Um, if you had an option, would you have chosen a different career? Oh, no, no, no. no everything is so great uh, these days. I just love what I do. No change. How about hanging it horizontally on the top of the screen? On the top of the screen? Like there? Uh, no, I like clean walls. Currently, I have nothing uh, on the on the walls. No poster, no uh, how do you say tableau uh, frames. I like to keep it that way. Put the guitar behind the couch. You think? Now that is cool because it's kind of um, occupy space on the shelves, and the shelves are going to be an issue right now. <laughs> because we need to add stuff. I think we we'll just add a bunch of books. And maybe we can add some... Nah, uh, it's gonna take ages, but uh, I was thinking about adding some uh, specific covers uh, on the books, on the side of the books. Like, I don't know, maybe some books I really liked. But uh, it will look weird if some have textures and some doesn't. It will take ages to do that, so let's not do that. I would just add a bunch of books and documents or whatever. Put that guitar. Can you sign on the guitar? <laughs> that would be funny. Like something that nobody can see. Like in the back. There. Maybe I can put some funny stuff actually. Oh, by the way, can we remove the back? Ah, oh, yes, we can. Up. Select flat. Might regret later. Zoof. Alright, nice. Belgian, French, it's no, not enough. It's better. Yeah, yeah, the Belgian uh, French is much better, I think. They did the update. They just changed it and uh, assumed it, which is what we should do, but uh, human doesn't like change, even if it's for the best. Well, lazy as F, and uh, yeah, that's all. How many vertices? How many would you say? All right, question. How many vertices? Let's see. You guys have to uh, guess. Oh, no, it's written. Oh, come on. It's written right here. So we have uh, 56,000 vertices. It's okay. It's okay. We're still fine. It's a lot. But uh, once exported, I'm sure it's fine. Check. Exported. Let's do some setup. Renderable. Active collection. We don't care. We're gonna need the UVs. Uh, material, we can get rid of that for now. No animation, compression. Yeah, okay, this one is fine. Let's put it on the download folder. Yeah, see? Actually, it's even less than what I was expecting. Not even one megabyte. That's weird, no? Wait a minute. We apply the modifiers. Oh, that's crazy. It's even less than what I was expecting. Uh, without compression. No compression. Three megabytes. In terms of weight, it's fine. We're going to apply um, basic material materials. So it should be fine too. Oh, we are good. We are good. It's perfect. Is it Draco? Yeah, yeah. So with Draco, it's uh, sorry, it's a kilobyte. Oh wait, actually, uh, you guys are using uh, that too. In, in French, in France, I, I discovered that we use octet, which is the f same thing as byte, not bit, byte. Uh, but we say octet. I don't understand why. It's the same thing, I think. So uh, 600, uh, almost 700 uh, kilobyte, and without Draco compression, it's a uh, three megabyte, which actually is okay. That's kind of the moment where you don't know exactly if you're using Draco or not. 
it's I think it's okay to use Draco now because Draco is quite heavy. It's actually the weight of that, so it's weird to uh, to um, load something as heavy as the model you want to load. But still, both together is less than the version without the compression. But then you need to think of also the um, what's the name the um, the deflate uh, the G zip on the server, which might influence too. So kind of the situation where you don't really know if you use Draco or not and also you get a freeze at the, the start of the experience because your computer would be uh, occupied uh, uncompressing it uh, not that much because it's using workers yeah I think we'll use Draco anyway should be a good idea I think anyway yeah top left I forgot my bad I know, I know. When will the result of the raffle come out? What raffle? Guess the number of vertices will be fun for giveaways. Yeah, true. Maybe we can find some uh, funny uh, things to do. Maybe I can actually uh, give, uh, you know, coins. I don't know exactly uh, how Twitch uh, uh, works with that. I will work on the on the on the stream. By the way, I have some IDs. I have emojis coming, uh, badges. More stuff. Actually, this room might be um, interactive at some point. That's the idea. I think you are only exporting selected objects, but didn't I select everything? And yes, I'm doing only ex uh, selected objects, but I thought I... Yeah, that's it. Compression. Yeah, that's it. It's fine. <laughs> My lord of ma uh, malice, malice. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, sure. Are you talking about that, Lord of Malice? My masterpiece, in my collection. Software development is just a stepping stone for me. What's a stepping stone? I'm sorry, I never heard this uh, expression. I love the guitar. Ah, you like it? Cool. Yeah, I think it's a. Uh, it's looking great. Quite accurate. Very simple guitar. The sound is great. The um, strings are way too uh, hard. Like uh, for a beginner like me, it was a nightmare. Like almost to the blood. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was a cool guitar. Are you going to put yourself in the scene? No, no, no. I want it. Uh, I want to keep it. Uh, um, uh, what's the name? Like no humans. I don't think I will even put a dog or whatever. Uh, so just objects, I think. Draco is pretty heavy. No, it's fine. 7 kilobytes is fine. I mean, yes, that's a lot of vertices, but uh, we should not be afraid of vertices. It's fine. Ah, just a stop in the path. All right. Interesting. We did some uh, geometry mistakes at some uh, very specific uh, parts. But I think the overall is, uh, it is pretty cool. Well optimized. So, yeah. You know, guys, I'm talking because I don't want to do it, but let's do it. We need to do the shelves. So it's a bit like that. Individually. Yeah, this part is a bit thinner. Like that. Yeah. So there is one, two, three, four. Oh, there is five floor off. Actually, there is something cool we can do. We can do the, the awards. Yay. I like those. <laughs> Actually, I already did a model for those. So 
was something I added on my portfolio just for a video. It's so dusty. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, I also have my collection of... Uh, I need to show you guys. Elephants, PHP elephants. I'm not a, a PHP fanboy, but I really like those elephants, and some of them are so uh, rare. Rare? Do we say rare? Like this one is super rare. There is only a few hundred uh, around. I think this one is kind of rare, but uh, I don't know exactly how, how much. And I have something like ten of them. I have 11. Not bragging, but I have 11 PHP official elephants. <laughs> Most people don't even know about those. Oh, cool, you have plush. Nice. Uh, okay, let's add books. I don't think I can do that uh, at the end, but let's try, let's try. So, uh, do we have shelves somewhere in the elements already or not? What are those? Okay, those are the walls, walls, so we can put that here. TV we don't need, couch, desk, shelves, yeah, we can put it there. All right, we can get rid of that. Maybe we can do a render. Uh, you know what? Let's do a render. Let's work on that. Okay, let's create a camera. I mean, I've been posting like screenshots of the uh, work in progress, but it's getting really uh, lame. Uh, we want to see something a bit more advanced. I mean, I guess. All right. That's cool. Actually, we need, because it's kind of an isometric view. I'm not going to use an isometric one, but still. Oh, that's weird. Oh, OK, that's the opposite. Uh, orthographic, sorry. Field of view, yeah. Very small field of view. Yeah, 25 should be good for the effect I look, I'm looking for. Like that. Yeah, that's cool. So do we see the octopus? Yep. Yeah, okay, we have a lot of details. All right, let's work a bit on the colors. Mm, let's see. Sight of the year. Yeah, actually won three uh, sight of the year at once. Crazy year. That was really crazy. Awards. <laughs> Put light gauge strings on your guitar. Your finger will appreciate. What's that? Light gauge strings. Let me check. What's that? Oh, it's a brand. It's a brand. Light gauge strings. Yeah, actually, I just need to change those strings. Well, I never really got motivated. People told me, you just need to practice. Yes, it hurts. But then you don't practice because it hurts. <laughs> Flex on us. Flex on us? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nine people left for 100 views. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, we are getting close. Just like the piece. All right. Nice. Okay. So yeah, let's do the render. Um, let's see. Can we get better lighting or not? 
actually let's remove this one so we have this one creating kind of a cool stuff let's see can we have the plants no i don't think we can have Yeah, okay. We need some light bounce. Let's see with Psychos. We're going to do a uh, Psychos on the... That's for sure. Let's see how this computer handles the, the Psychos. Yeah, I like it. We have a part on the plants. Uh, a bit too much on the screens, I guess some on the floor which is actually the kind of lights i have uh, at the during the day okay then we can add this one back let's see yeah not bad we need it to be on the sides I like this one too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. And then, uh, yeah, we can try this too. So let's put another one there. Lighting isn't... Uh, I'm not very good at it. Still, I think that if you just spend enough time, try stuff, the best thing would be to, to use some references. One like that. This one needs to be... I should have saved them. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, this one maybe can be kind of reddish. Oh, no, this is impacting everything way too much. No, okay, forget about that. Up, reset. Quick. Yeah, not convinced. Still, I think we have something more than enough. This one can be blue. Is it a good idea or not? Yeah, that's cool. I want the, the one from the out of the window to look more like a sunset. Is it possible or not? Yeah, that's it. Check that. It needs to be really warm. Not too much. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I don't like the fact that you can see it uh, on top, but I don't think we can do much about that. So yeah, let's work a bit more on this one. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. We lose a lot of details. That's kind of the drawback of doing that. Yeah, but obviously once we add like colors, different colors, we'll be able to see contrast. But I wanted to do a cool render just for, I don't know, for posting it on Twitter or whatever. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe it's not logical to have such a bright light there. Uh... Oh, I like that. 
the fact that it's dark there, but we can see that I still haven't done the books on the shelves. Maybe it's too bright. Yeah, that's cool. We have a bit more of contrast almost everywhere. What do you guys think? Uh, oh, Julie is here. Do we say Julie? In French, it's Julie, Julie, July, Julie. Does Optics Dinosaur not work with your hardware? Actually, I, it's the, almost the first time I'm using Blender on a PC. Uh, I was using a bag before. Yes, I know. <laughs> but uh, let me see. Two years more experience than me. Oh, really? You've done so much. I've checked your Instagram. Uh, you've done so many models. How do we add denoiser? Optics denoiser? Is that like a, a GPU denoiser? Let's see. What is the denoiser? So it's not color management, grease pencil, bake, performance. Simplify. Why is the denoiser? Ah, there. Denoising. Optics. And is the optics faster? Can we have it in the viewport? Yeah. And everything is gone. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Am I doing something wrong? Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I didn't say for a while. No. Not that. <laughs> When was the last time I saved? I need to make something for the chat to remind me to save. So it looks like the optics uh, doesn't work for me. No. Autosave. Autosave, we saved the previous one. No, I should not do a control Z. Oh, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Shoot, should I wait or not? That's the worst part. No. <laughs> I hope I saved. Oh, come on. Let's see how long I lost. Uptime. So, three hours. <laughs> no, I'm quite sure I did some saves. So, it's not three hours, that's for sure. Anyway, I will do everything faster. Meta keeps back up pretty aggressively, right? I'm not sure. I know that uh, when you save, uh, you get the previous save as a blend one, and you can have blend two, blend three, if you want uh, in the options. Oh, okay, it's back. Whew. Okay, let's save. Wait, it's still broken. What the hell? Come on. Can I move now? No, I still can't move, but it seems to be working. We are getting there. That, kids, is why you have to save. Save, control V. Let me catch up with the chat. That's the perfect opportunity. The rainbow one? What rainbow? I never knew how bad I needed a PHP elephant in my life until I watched this stream. Yeah, I will show you my whole uh, collection. There are really special ones. I'm proud of my PHP elephant collection. Even if I don't do that much PHP, and I'm not such a big fan of PHP. I don't even know how I started this. Maybe someone like bought me one and then I was like, oh, there's another one here. And if you have to, it's the start of a collection, and uh, here I am with uh, eleven elephants. PHP elephant. I don't know exactly the name. So are you back or not? No, it's broken. Oh, oh, okay, it's back. What? Okay, it's kind of working, but I don't have control. That's weird. I can click on stuff. All right, cool. We're good. We're good. Um, so. Yeah, true about that. We have access to three different NLM 
OptiX and Open Image Denoise. You guys know the dif difference be between those? I never do renders. Not never, but uh, usually I don't do renders because it's for. Uh, it's usually for what do you, how do you say um, real time, but uh, yeah. Ah. Oh come on! <laughs> yeah, let's move it uh, forward. Where's my camera? There is the camera. Oh, it's there. Yeah, it's super far. Let's do a square one because it's a square render. Which reminds me that I need to create an Instagram and post my stuff on it. All right, cool. Um, can you transfer scale the camera? Would that create some kind of effect? Transform scale the camera? No, it's not doing anything. Doesn't make sense, actually. Yeah, but about the sight of the year, be aware that uh, it was uh, mostly um, uh, um, people, um, how do you say, uh, people choice. I don't think, at least one was people choice and another one might be people choice too. Uh, I don't remember. So yeah, it's not really the same. Still, it's cool. Optics is NVIDIA, GPU. Optics is NVIDIA, let me check again. So we said, uh, Optics is NVIDIA GPU. Open image is Intel CPU. Okay, so I should be able to do an, an Optics then. I have an NVIDIA. Should be fine, right? Try rendering with Optics. Yeah, yeah, I will try right now. And then we can do the, the giveaway. It's been three hours. Let's say you are rendering on CPU. No, I'm rendering on... Oh, wait. What? I changed this one. That's why it was so slow. Come on. Why, why is it by, not by default like that? Yeah, they are activated. Could I? Oh, that's so weird. Okay, it's going to be much faster. So yeah, let's try again. Optics. Ooh. I like it. Let's try there. Uh, that's weird. But I like it. So we have to have it um, during the, the render. Maybe it should be only at the end. Oh, yeah, actually, it kind of makes sense. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Um, let's do the render. That was a cool session. Got some wood through. Optics should work. Yeah, indeed. It's working. I don't know what I did wrong. Uh, I think it's just indeed because I forgot to uh, check the GPU uh, compute. So maybe it was using the CPU and uh, broke at some point. Anyway, let's save. Yeah, so by the way, as I said earlier, if you guys want to, uh, my models, just ask and I will send it to you. Uh, really, I don't care about that. But you have to ask me because I can't put them on uh, GitHub because uh, it's too heavy. All right, cool. Let's do the render. Uh, I forgot the shortcut. I think it's 12. Yeah. Yeah, it's fast. It's cool to see some colors on it. And then we can do the giveaway. Let's go. So who's hyped for the giveaway? Who's been waiting three hours for the giveaway? If you change the start sample from first to second, it will show denoise for one frame and will denoise on the second frame and won't be blurry. Ah, that's cool. Okay, let me check. So we can't do the giveaway because of you. <laughs> so you'd say two. Then I move. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's just like uh, ignoring some of the steps. Steps. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Color, albedo, normal. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's great. Thank you for the these uh, tips. Okay, let's do the render. All right, let's go. So yeah, let's do the giveaway. Um, let me just prepare everything. We need that. 
Ne, bis. Hopp. Okay. That was fast. Actually, it's doing multiple times. Well, as well. Why? Are you doing an animation or what? Is it doing an animation? Just press F12 as well. So, if you want a chance to win the 3GS... Oh yeah, it's doing an animation. Come on, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, we'll do that later. We don't care about that. So, if you want a uh, chance to win the 3GS Journey uh, course, let me just show you the page as always. Here you go. You just need to put one word in the chat. And the word, the today's word is... Uh, let's use Denoise. D-E-N-O-I-S-E. Denoise. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So I repeat, if you want a chance to win the 3GS Journey course for free, you just put Denoise in the chat and you get one chance to win. We just wait one minute, just in case. Transform camera scale could have some effect on the ortho camera. Ah, in, ah yeah, makes sense. Yeah, because it's wider. So yeah, 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 probably right about that. But it's not an orthographic one. You, I was wondering who's Julie Strator and who's Julie Strator and immediately follow her. Yeah, crazy work. And the streams are great too. I just checked uh, some and uh, yeah, super cool content. I really like the... Uh, I don't know if uh, Julie is still here, but uh, she can draw like in three minutes in paint. And that's really funny. You, you should check the, the stream. <laughs> Mostly learning myself on stream. Oh, so you're learning during, during the stream. That's actually really hard because you don't want to get stuck too much. But in fact, sometimes the viewers are helping. So yeah, I kind of learn to. At least I try to practice. All right. Mostly, uh, denoise, denoise, denoise. All right, no new denoise, so let's go. Oh, wait, I need to do that too. Up, up. Let's roll. And congratulations to Davelsan. Bravo, bravo. Where are you? I need to find you. Can you post something in the chat? Davel, Davel, Davel. Yeah, here you go. All right, cool. That was great. Ah, oh, shoo, I'm having some bugs. So, Davel, congratulations. I will send you right after the stream. Uh, don't worry. Uh, and I think we are done. Let me see if we have someone to raid. No, no one, unfortunately. Yeah, too bad. I need more friends on Twitch, as always. <laughs> anyway, that was cool. Uh, we did quite a long progress. Yeah, obviously, I, uh, I failed at finishing uh, the shelves. But it should not take that long on the next session. I think I will stream tomorrow. See you guys. Have a nice evening or morning or whatever. It depends on where you are. And, uh, and yeah. Bye bye.